all you beautiful ladies. Happy Women's Day. I am deeply honored to be part of a program that is inspiring and motivating women all over the world. I am Dr. Radha Ramamrita. I am from Lady Harding Batch 81 to 85. Also, I did my post-graduation in anesthesia as well as three-year residency, senior residency in anesthesia back at Lady Harding. Currently, I'm triple board certified here in the US and I serve as a medical director for a couple of institutions as well as work as an academic hospitalist. I would say being a woman has been my pride and joy and I think I'm also a symbol of strength, um, not because of the obstacles I have faced and overcome, but because of my attitude or my perception towards the obstacles and the way I have faced it and boldly come out of it. Um, I am a single mom and I have raised a child here and he is now an interventional radiologist and this is my pride and joy. But I wouldn't have done it without the help of my family and friends and I'm deeply indebted to all of them that played a role in some way or the other to help me achieve my goals. Currently, I'm very content with my professional success as well as my personal success. But I would say a lot of people stand behind me in this. Um, as far as inspiration, I would say I've been inspired by a number of women. The first and foremost, of course, my mom, um, who has been a great administrator. She ran my dad's business with an iron hand and continues to be the best mom that I have ever known. Um, in our hospitals, I am greatly honored to be um, a student of Dr. Chandrima Anand, Dr. Meechandani, Dr. Sharda Jain, all of whom um, depicted these strong women characters that invoked a lot of confidence, um, boosted our, uh, you know, uh, confidence in every which way. Um, they stood like these rocks for us that we looked up and, um, you know, inspired to be like them at some point. So I'm very thankful for um, being a graduate of Lady Harding under the, uh, you know, um, guidance of such great women. Um, I think it would be a disservice if I didn't mention Dr. Maheshwari Sharma and Dr. Homai Vajifdar of Anesthesia Department, who were two rocks by my side when I was doing my post-graduation and was pregnant with a baby. I would say, um, growing up in India, I'm talking about <laughs> half a century ago, we were perceived as a weaker sex and we had to put up with a lot of um, uh, diffidence and um, you know people undermined us I think not just in our profession but other professions too women go through various hassles various obstacles sexual harassments and maybe now I'm old too much mature to put up with any of that nonsense but a word of advice would be we're all very hard-working uh, women um, we take a lot of pride in what we do and we should not put up with any of this nonsense and we should stand up for ourselves. We should, of course, work hard, but also work smart and also take care of ourselves. As a, um, as a woman, I have played various roles in my career and my life. Started with a daughter when I was born to my parents and became sister to my siblings and eventually became a doctor and became a wife and a mother. And my patients would say, I'm probably the best doctor that they have ever seen. While my dad would say, I'm a better daughter than a doctor. And my son would say, I'm a better mother than a doctor. And I think it's thrilling to know that in every which field, I'm praised for who I am. And that's because we as women tend to be perfectionists. But it's only possible when we take care of ourselves. And sometimes we tend to put ourselves in the back burner. So my sincere advice would be take care of yourself so you can take better care of others. Other than that, I think we all have different um, struggles that we face on a day-to-day -day basis, but face them with confidence. 
who hasn't faced struggles in life. So the motivation should be, if somebody else can come up in life, why can't it be us? So stay strong, stay united. I hope I can be uh, an inspiration to someone younger or someone in need. Um, feel free to contact me if you need any advice in any matter that I can be of use to you. And once again, happy Women's Day.